up until 345 on October 22nd, it was just any other day. I left my desk in one part of the building. I went down the stairs to a, a printer to get something off the printer, and, and I wound up on the ground. A sudden cardiac arrest, it gets you. His heart was stopped. His head was toward the file cabinet, and his feet were right about where I'm standing. Last year, we had 90 cardiac arrests in the city of Mount Vernon. Uh, which was an all-time high for us. Although we're finding as the population grows here that our cardiac arrest rate is increasing proportionately with the population. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't tell if he was doing okay. As a matter of fact, my assumption was that he was going to be okay. I guess I never thought, I never knew how serious it was. It was a 20-minute drive, but it was a, a long way, and the whole way I was promising anything to keep him. He was lying there and it was quite clear that nothing was going okay for him. He was sort of taking these big gasping breaths and you could see his eyes rolled back in his head. And The three or four saves over my career that I've been involved in, they've always been involved somebody doing CPR before we got there and then early defibrillation. I opened his mouth and checked for a clear airway and uh, Dick Clever, our city editor, was there uh, giving chest compressions while I was breathing. On the way there, I was updated by dispatch that, in fact, we had uh, CPR in progress. Kept him going until the fire department got there with the AED and, and charged him back. So this is the actual machine that I used uh, to, down at the Skagit Valley Herald. And uh, every day, uh, we come out and we check it and verify the, uh, that the pads are to date and the machines in uh, electrically, it's in good status there. Um, we check all the backup devices on here, the backup set of pads and, and uh, everything to make sure they're in date and everything's in working order so that uh, when the call comes in we're ready to respond. The emergency people talked to us about it that, you know, we figured out how, how close he really was to death. Everything worked and I couldn't be more grateful. <laughs> so. For Kate and Dick and August, thank you. Thank you for keeping me around that day. I still haven't gotten over it. I don't think I don't think I don't think will. I ever will. No, you know? that's okay, because it it turned out okay.